As the highest ranked Israeli tennis player, male or female, to ever play the game, Shahar Peer has broken new ground in the sport for both her country and her Jewish faith, something she says she's extremely proud of. Yeah, very proud. I mean, I think um, lately I just realized what I did and what I achieved, um, you know, all my results, my ranking, uh, what I gave for the country. Um, you know, I had really good years uh, during uh, the last few years since I've been playing. It's, I think it's my 11th year or something in the WTA Tour, which is a lot. Um, so I did look back and I was like, wow, I did, I did realize I've been doing a lot and achieved very good. So, you know, and I'm still here trying to achieve uh, good results and trying to achieve to myself, like to play my best tennis. Pear has now been on the WTA Tour for over a decade, and although many of her best results came earlier in her career, such as reaching 11 in the world thanks to two Grand Slam quarterfinals back in 2007 and winning five top-level titles, she is now able to reflect on her considerable successes in a different way. I do think I got matured and I can look at things differently. Like you said, when you're young, you don't see what you do and you don't realize it. And now I can look uh, back or look now even where I am in a different way. You know, if I lose or win, you know, it doesn't mean anything. I'm still the same person. And, you know, it's a lot about result when you're young and you just go like, I was like a robot a little bit, like I'm going, going, going. And doesn't matter, I win, I lose, I just go to practice and as hard as I can and get angry and, you know, trying to achieve as much as I can. And now I look a little bit from up and I see different things. And I think you can see it in a lot of girls. Like, if you look, a lot of the top players, they're a little bit older than before, you know. Um, getting to the best result in 30 years old or something. So it's, it's changed a little bit in the tour. With players representing so many different nations at events all around the world, it can sometimes be difficult for tennis players to establish an identity. But Pear has had no such trouble, thanks to her strong roots. I'm very pro-Israel, very pro-Jewish. You can ask whoever you see. I'm like really for it. It's I, I did I never notice it, but then people tell me, and I'm like, wow, yes, I am. You know, like the way I talk, the way I am, the way I feel about my country. I'm really proud of being Israeli and supporting and. Um, you know, whatever I achieved, I also achieved a little bit. That's why I think people really get connected to me a little bit different way than the Israelis in the sport, you know, like working hard and achieving things from really fighting for it. So people get, you know, they want to see this more. So I'm really, I love my country. For much of her career, Pear has been the only female Israeli player competing at the Grand Slams and other top events. Even so, Israeli and Jewish fans always seem to find a way to watch her matches. New York is amazing. You get a lot of crowd. Melbourne also a lot. Um, a lot of the young people. I mean, the, when I do well here, you know, I played same as here one year, and also I get a lot of support. There is a big Jewish community here. It really depends. I think I used to have a coach that he said, everywhere you go, there is somebody that is supporting you. It doesn't matter if it's in the end of the world, you know? So you always get a support, which is nice. With all she's achieved in tennis, it's easy to forget that Shah Pair is only 26 years of age. And while she still has some work to do to move her ranking back up into the world's top 20, she certainly appreciates how important her presence is for both the Israeli and the Jewish community at the top of the women's game. Adam Hunt for Jewish News 1 in Miami.